Welcome back. Sina Media is a video technology provider which has products that cover content distribution and delivery, security, advertising and broadband solutions. This UK headquartered company helps service providers and content owners to protect, enrich and deliver video in a better manner. Sina Media CEO Paul Segre was visiting Mumbai recently and I spoke to him about the media landscape in the country. What are the kind of solutions that OTT platforms and broadcasters are looking for best way to arrest piracy in the country and the impact of password sharing by users on OTT platforms and much more. Paul, welcome to CNBC TV 18. Thank you. Piracy is something which has been a big concern. How do you address that issue in a country like ours and what is the technology that you have that will ensure that uh, the content remains with the authorized users. Right. Well, as you said, it's it's a huge problem, and it's only getting bigger as you know content rights for sports and and the amount of money people are spending on originals goes up. Uh, we have a family of products. Um, one focused on you know detecting if there's leakage to pirates, and then remediation. Uh, we call it monitoring and takedown. Uh, so that has to do with you know something called watermarking, which you can put a, a, a mark on a video that a human eye can't see, so you can trace you know, the source of video. Uh, we have another product that um, stops uh, pirates from stealing uh, both the content as well as the service. You can steal an entire service as well. And then we have services around that um, that uh, provide intelligence of you know who the pirates are, what they're doing, what content they're stealing, and things like that. So really, a family of products. No one thing solves a problem. You need to uh, come at it from multiple angles. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you're meeting your clients in the country. What are their key requirements, Paul? Yeah, I'd say we have some big traditional uh, providers of video. So for example, we're meeting with Barty Airtel. Uh, we're meeting with Tata Play, and then we have some of the new entrants as well. So meeting with. Uh, today with, with Z, we're meeting with Sony Live, and we're meeting with Voot. What we're focused on is a couple of things. First of all, uh, we're focused on the end customer needs and, and what consumers want. And what they want is, you know, they want, a, um, they want aggregation. So they want a, a services that provide them the content they want. Mm -hmm. They want ease of discovery. So, you know, once they get in, can they find it? Or are they on, you know, searching for what service provides it on, on you know, on the internet? So we have a focus on that. Uh, we have a focus on advertising. Mm -hmm. And advertising is important to service providers, but it's also important to consumers because consumers, you know, they want, um, they want an experience at a price point they can afford. Mm -hmm. And only through advertising can you either offer it for free or lower cost. Correct. Uh, we have anti-piracy. Um, and that's important for, you know, people generating content rights or buying content rights. Mm -hmm. And as you've seen in the Indian market, there have been some very, you know, high prices paid for the IPO, for example. Yeah. Um, and then we're focused on data analytics, understanding mm -hmm. you know, who your subscribers are, do they have a good experience? Mm -hmm. So sort of the experience side of thing, who they are, what do you advertise to them? Mm -hmm. um, and then a whole series of products um, focused on delivering good video, um, high quality content over streaming. Mm -hmm. Um, so things like low latency, which is important. I mean, if you're watching a, if you're watching particularly sporting event, you, you'd rather see it at the same time, yeah. versus you know a minute later, which which can happen over a, a, a streaming service with with you know, not optimized for good latency. So, uh, you know, from this conversation, I can gauge that, you know, you're trying to fill in a lot of lacunas that currently exist. Yes, we have seen a lot of growth and penetration over the past few years. Uh, like, what is your outlook for the Indian media landscape, Paul? You know, we look at it and we just see tremendous opportunity. There's uh, just so much innovation here. Um, and um, so, we, you know, in a dynamic market, um, especially a market where there's so much content, you know, so you think about um, the, you know, the Indian landscape, you have, you know, Bollywood, so mm -hmm. lots of content there. You're pretty sports crazy, I think we need to agree. Yeah. A and so between those two things, there's a lot of competition mm -hmm. um, for, you know, who is going to be the predominant, you know, provider of, of video entertainment. Mm -hmm. uh, and that type of competition uh, as well as just new people coming into the ecosystem. Yeah. 
you know, when you look at how many people have broadband here, how many people have TVs, there's still, I think, 150 million homes mm -hmm. that are still primarily over, over their, you know, watching video over their smartphones. So yeah. there's, there's both innovation as well as just a lot of new, uh, you know, new people in the population who are, you know, getting TVs or, or get coming online. Uh, Paul, over uh, uh, like over the past uh, couple of years, we have seen how platforms such as Netflix are uh, raising concerns over how sharing of passwords yes. is impacting their revenue and it's impacting uh, the numbers of uh, users that they have, the user base. Uh, what do you think of uh, you know this particular matter? So we have a, a, a product specifically focused on that, and mm -hmm. it it can identify the amount of sharing. So it, it can identify whether there is sharing casually that's more likely to be within a family group, mm -hmm. or if something's fraud, right? So we've seen some cases where people are sharing with fifty thousand people. That's that we I think can agree that's quite that's a fraud bit. and that's bad and yeah. that's not friends and family. Other people are sharing with friends and family, and, and for that, I think it's a business decision hmm. for a provider what they want to do with it. So what our tool does is you know, it, it provides information on these are people who are sharing, these are the extent of the sharing, hmm. and then we feed that into you know, the, the sort of marketing departments of our customers, and they can decide do they want to create packages that are sort of like you know, friends and family packages, so for a little bit more, you can participate in the sharing, so that's a good thing. It's a way to market. Do they want to say, well, you know, have a password reset because they think it's inappropriate? Or if they see something that's clearly fraud, mm -hmm. they can turn it off. But I think the key point is it's sort of a business decision of do you want to allow sharing to get your service out more broadly? What level of sharing do you want to allow? And, and then how do you leverage knowledge about that sharing to turn it into an opportunity to enhance revenue? Thanks for joining <laughs> us today. My pleasure.